Hey, look, we're back. And where we last left off, we caught a Pokemon in this cave. I can't remember the Pokemon we caught. Turns out you can catch Gibble here, but it has to be on the lower floor, so... I needed to get to B14 to where a chance at Gibble. Eh, as it goes. I would have liked getting Garchomp, but eh. Literally, you get a Garchomp and it kind of can hard carry you through the rest of this entire game. Oh, right, I got a Bronzor. So, what's happening in the video game industry? You know what's happening in the video game industry? We have Activision Blizzard catching even more L's. We got even more leaks about how women are still being treated like shit, like how the breast milk for mothers was being stolen, so like, you know, they couldn't, you know, there's no reason. And it was probably labeled too. It isn't a case of like, oh man, I accidentally stole the milk. That was meant for the babies for myself. No, people are just doing it. Then again, it's only allegedly, so don't really know yet. But then we have also strikes and youth threats and unions being formed so that, you know, the, the employees are treated not like shit. So, Activision is not in a great place right now. Well, they haven't been, but it's not getting any better, you know? They have been catching L upon L upon L, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down or stopping at any time soon. I have already caught a Pokemon here. Right? Yeah, I already caught a Pokemon here. Shit, it's been so long that I can't even remember. And we'll just leave. Honestly, I take no enjoyment or relishing in the... Oh, actually, I don't think you turn it on. Just a tiny bit. There we go. I take no enjoyment or relishing in Activision not currently doing well. Because, honestly, the worse they do, the worse it is for me. I don't care about WoW. I don't care about Overwatch. I don't care about Hearthstone. I don't care about any other games. However, the better their games are, especially WoW, the better WoW is, the better my game is forced to be. I play a shit ton of FF14, as we see with the FF14 content on the channel. I very much enjoy Final Fantasy XIV, and the only way that Final Fantasy XIV gets better is having a decent competitor on uh, to fight against. But in the case of where it is right now, it doesn't have a competitor. So it could, in theory, fall to just the same kind of lays that have been killing WoW for the longest time. It doesn't seem like it, especially with how good Endwalker is. Beat Endwalker, by the way, A+. I didn't know how they, they go past, um, I don't know what they could have done to have gone past Shadowbringers, but they found a way. It actually also does this one of my favorite tropes in all of anime, but no spoilers. But yeah, the better the competition is nothing but an upside for uh, you. There's nothing but upside for the consumers when it comes to a video game the competition. Why? Because the more competition a game has, the better it is forced to be. It is literally forced to be better because they want to keep their player base, because they want to keep getting money. So anytime your game has any comp competition at all, it's nothing but upside to you. You want there to be a competitor. You want them to be forced to do better each and every single time. You are not learning curse, you're a special attacker. So yeah, the fact that WoW is doing really badly could potentially hurt FF14. But as long as it seems like we have Yoshi P and the, uh, the woman who's currently doing the writing, that Ishigawa woman? I'm not sure how her, uh, what her, uh, her name is, I know it starts with I, but as long as she's doing the writing, I am, I feel so safe for the future of this game. There's just a couple of pieces here and there that I want them to keep adding, but for as it is right now, I'm ecstatic to say the least. But yeah, back to this. Tita. I know for a fact in Iron Island there is a metal coat. And again, I am doing trade evolutions. I said that I'd be doing trade evolutions, I'm doing trade evolutions. Your power startles me. Still can't believe I lost a blackbird catching Sh uh, Shelly. No. That's a ghost. Up. Yeah, I did catch one here. I caught points up. Yeah, see, I caught points up here. 
I would say it's weird that a snake is a rock snake's faster than a horse, but then again, it is a snake. It also has like a tempo component. I think Onyx is one of the fastest rock type Pokemon without speed boost and shit. Normally, it's like Caracosta, I want to say. Very. Thank you. And once I finish releasing all the Endwalker content, I will then go back to doing two Pokemon videos each time I play a Pokemon that day. I will go back to uh, pushing through, and once again, once I finish. Oh, there's not here. Why can't I pick you up? What the hell? What the hell's happening? That was odd. And once I finish No More the uh, The World Ends with You, or Neo The World Ends with You, I'll be making my next major video. Long time coming. Alright, I can go check the tree in Florida Town again. Let's go do that. Let's go do that before we push on. Why, but every time I've seen Ponyta and Rapidash, I think female. Something about it doesn't look male to me. Or alien? It doesn't look like a uh, male to me. That's just me. I'm gonna have three Pokemon that are e trade evos on my team. Hmm. Vital throw. Wish I had to do again. Never misses. Uh, always attacks last, but never misses. I mean, technically, right now, that's better than low sweep. Yeah. I'm not a fast Pokemon anyway. I won't be going first anyway. Nice. Cut. Oh, the fuck looks hurting. Now, where is Flora Brown? Town map. Floroma is over here. Yep. Two Floroma. Wait, where can I go around? Because I don't want to get slowed down going this way. Eh, I'll just go this way. It's fine. Oh, I don't get slowed down going up to a cycling road. Or I do get slowed down, but nowhere near as much. I remember back in the original game, it was like you were uh, trudging up mud. Made sense, you're riding, uh, pedaling uphill. Shit's hard. And before I'm wasting everyone's time, and there's literally nothing here. We're about to find out, though. That's not the right way. It could just be a case of you need to go back quick enough. Not that way. I want to go right back to N Walker. There's still so much I need to do. I still need to level up the classes that I've been neglecting and stuff like that. That game is so goddamn good. I'm going to be singing that phrase for so long. I know there are a lot of people out there who uh, don't want to get into FF14 because people are like, oh man, the story, I don't want to like play this through the story. And, like, and I understand that, especially when people are shoving down their throats, but. I don't want to ship it out anyone's throat either, but it's just a really, really good story. Like, it's just so goddamn good. It starts off so slow. I cannot sit here and say that it's a game that's going to be fast from start to end. It's not. It starts off as a very incredibly slow game. But as someone who's played JRPGs for just about all of his life, I'm okay with games being slow at the start. Because I always enjoy that payoff of what we get in the end. We start off weak, we start off pathetic, and then we slowly build ourselves up to- Ooh, God, that is love. We slowly build ourselves up into monsters, and I love that. I love that concept of RPG so much. That feeling of progression is something I adore when it comes to JRPGs. But I know for a fact, I could not sit here and tell everyone, yes, do that. Just do- be- have the exact same experience as I do. But, if you are willing to stick through it, you will be rewarded with one of the best- Nope. I think you just have to come back within a certain amount of time. You'll be rewarded with one of the best RPGs, uh, stories, and just gaming in general. Just, just flat out. If you can make it past ARR, you really will become that meme. 
of you either quit at ARR or you become a walking advertisement for the game. That really is it. I have friends who came from goddamn WoW who are like, man, I don't think I'll like this game with all story focused as it is. That's probably another good thing about FO14. Don't like a story? That's fine. You'll probably end up finding something else. Like my WoW friend who was like, oh man, I just want to get to the raids. I just want to get to the raids. Come back to talk to him uh, the next day. Or actually, no, after after the weekend, right? Oh, so how's the, how's the, you got the raids yet? Oh, I don't know. I've been just uh, ocean fishing for the past three days. <laughs> it's so fun. Uh, but uh, yeah, as it goes. The fact that you get like you touch something, you just get stuck on it. Pachirisu. I would really like for my Ghastly to get even a single special attack before I start using it in combat. Just one. Not asking for multiple, just one, please. Like I don't feel like that's unreasonable. It's just one move that I can, that's actually able to do damage with. Because I'm not putting you are a glass cannon special attacker. And if you can't special attack, I'm not. I'm not gonna use you. It's just, just what's gonna happen here. Eternia City, Cycling Road. And down Cycling Road we go. There's a lot of chance that my, uh, that Nag uh, Nagia dies, though, I will have at least my Bronzor, whose name I currently cannot remember, as a backup. Bell, I believe I named him, correct? 207. I already caught a Pokemon there, so I can't catch any Pokemon for the rest of the round. Oh, right, Berry Tree over here. I don't know why, but I remember this Berry Tree very, this Berry Patch very soon or something. I cannot tell you why, though. I don't care about playing more berries. Just too much time. Never sure if I plan to play this game much. Well, I'll probably make a competitive team. Do some uh, battling. Luck berry. Uh, what the hell's a luck berry? Obviously, you're supposed to be playing homage to a black berry. But what's a luck berry? Let us find out. A luck berry is. Ah, popping a green. Who's going to be my current lead? Sandra, get in there. I can see the world breaking. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best, too. Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard, too. And you guys will die working hard. Okay, now that I notice that they're just doing the straight up images of how they used to do in the original game, I don't hate it anymore. Uh, let's actually headbutt here, and then we will rock slide here. Oh, rock slide hits both. Nice. I might be able to one shot. Good teamwork. The teamwork. Good job, team. Sun Wukong, I just need to hear my stats. Shelly. Pretty good all around her as well. Be glad I didn't have a ground attack. Did you know you can dig up fossils in the Grand Underground? These fossils will turn back into Pokemon the uh, mining museum. I think I'll go visit the TV station Jubilee City next. Some potion. Hi. I just got through Mount Cornet, but still got the old tank. That, that's good for you? Question mark? Tiger Justin. Geodude. God, I could not get over how slow their faces look, man. Alright, Geodude, what you got? 
Oh, you have nothing. Don't go. You must be sleepy. Didn't I have water come on you? Or did I, was this the part where I got rid of water gun so that I could go? Yeah, I think this is when I got rid of water gun just so I could have... Shit. No, whatever, it's fine. Shelly was doing handling. I think I got rid of water gun just for thief so I could try to steal a uh, metal coat early to get on... Um, uh, I tried to steal a metal coat early to get for my Nagieto while very thirsty. You enjoy your snooze, Kareem, buddy. This is gonna be my second LP in games where I'm just not using my starter. <laughs> Which is kind of really kind of productive, because in uh, Journey to the West, Sun Wukong refused to not fight. Wait, did that say not a... Did that say not effective, or... Give me a second. What did that say about... Not very effective. Okay. I was confused for a second. Nice. Oops. Didn't take much to beat us. Well, you had two Pokemon, and I had, like, a level advantage, man. It's not on you. We need to rest up at the Boroughberg City before heading to Mount Cornette again. Why do you want to head to Mount Cornette again? New route, new Pokemon. I don't have Surf yet, right? No, I do not. So what can I catch up here? Uh, I am very glad I have already caught one of these. I would have been so sad if my catch for this cave would have been a chain link. I don't like these things. Get the fuck out of here. It's not even worth killing you. I'm still killing you just out of pure fucking spite. Gross. I don't like Chingling. I really don't like Chingling. Hello. Oh my god, you look so stupid, Chibi! Holy fuck! I already realized we'd see him, Chibi, but he looks so goddamn dumb. According to one theory, Mount Cornette is where Signal Region began. In the newly created war, the war where only time flow to uh, space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weakened and complete strife is spread. This, is be this world is being ruined by it. We find the same things to be deplored. Okay, bye. <laughs> Why would you tell this all to a, tri uh, to a random child? Where'd you come from, anyway? Oh, no, you walked around. Okay. I guess I'll catch a Pokemon in here. Let's see if I can catch something. I need to check out the odds of that. Pokemon. Switch out to... I don't know. Oh, wait. Let me switch out to... Phantasma. Oh, wow. You use your own as well. So Copycat continues to copy the last move. But hell yeah, let me catch this thing. Holy fuck. That can't have been a high chance. That had to have been stupidly low. Let's see. Mount Cornet 
the chance of catching... Oh no, there's actually a 25% chance. Huh. Interesting. I'm so hype about that, though. I adore Cleffa. I think it is such a cute Pokemon. Alright, let's look at the stats of a Cleffa. Or, I guess, Clefable, technically. Clefable is one of those Gen 1 Pokemon. So, in his debut generation, it was only a U. Oh, wait, wait, I can't. Sorry, I don't think it worked. Yeah, in his debut generation, it was NU. There was literally no reason to use it over Chansey. Because it effectively filled the same slot as Chansey did, it, but Chansey's stats were. The, ch the stats that Chansey cared about were just better. It's faster, and it has better defense, but a normal type isn't going to be known for their defense, right? And Chansey's attack, uh, HP and special were way, way higher. Gen 2, it actually bucked up to Yu Yu Borderline because it did start to, you know, hold its own. It was a really good, like, wall Pokemon that had moves like Wish. You could have moves like, you can self heal, you could pivot into things, and it just had a, just enough life that it could carve out its own niche in Yu Yu Borderline. But again, there was no reason to use it over Chansey. Gen 3, it is still secured in Yu Yu where it's, its power comes from its unpredictability. You don't know, Clefable's move, pool is, uh, Clefable's move pool is so fast, you don't know what's coming at you when it's uh, attacking at you. You don't know if it's going to, is it gonna be a phaser, is it gonna be a support Pokemon, you really do not know. And that's what made it dangerous. Gen 4, it's still Yu Yu. It also got the much better ability of Magic Guard, which says that it can only be damaged by direct attack, and it can't be fully paralyzed. So that allows it to be a very good Pokemon and a continually good pivot because you can be a support Pokemon. It can't really do a damage, but you could have the support. You can have some moves in there to like do to pepper some damage here and there. You could have the stall Pokemon, and that general utility continue to be make it really good. Which and that trend actually, sadly, in Gen 5, it actually dropped to Ryu because it is incredibly versatile. But again, power creep is just so hard, and Gen 5 was the fighting game generation. Or the fighting generation where so many strong fighting types like Terrakion, and uh, in fact that entire line of Pokemon came out, and it's like, I, I, a normal type can't keep up. A normal type needs to have stupid amounts of stats to keep up. However, in Generation 6, it got one of the best things to make it top tier. It got the Fairy typing, which gave it three resistances and an immunity. Fairy is such a good typing because the amount of poison and steel types is pathetic low compared to the amount of bug, dark, fighting, and dragon types. And again, you are immune to dragon types. There was... The only dragon steel type was an uber Pokemon, and there wouldn't be a dragon poison until the uh, a gen next generation. So, it was kind of hard to walk, break your way through Clefable now with its magic guard and its underwear. Magic guard allowed you to switch it in, Oh, and apparently they changed Magic Guard. What generation did they change Magic Guard? Yeah, in generation in generation four you couldn't be par paralyzed with it. Generation five onward is just you have uh, immunities to direct damage. It comes with heavy duty boots built in, and that made it really, really hard to kill with its generally decent amount of HP and special attack and special uh, special defense and defense to that. Gen 7 continues to be OU for those exact same reasons. Fairy typing is really good. And Gen 8 continues to be a very good, bulky fairy type Pokemon. So yeah, I'm down as fuck for this. Its silhouette is like a star. It's believed to arrive on shooting stars. Remember that episode of Pokemon where it literally came from a star? I guess I should name you Star then. Star. Starla. S Starry. Starry. Uh, yeah, add to the party. Who do I want to get rid of, though? Honestly, I should probably either get rid of Shelly or Sandra. Chandra, you have put in so much work for this team, and I it cannot be understated how important you were for getting me to this point. And I thank you so much every single I'm never I'm not gonna forget you, Sandra. But now it's time for you to put you in the box. Because I got Starry. What's your ability? I hope it's Magic Guard. Oh, I'm fine with Charm though. 
your ability is... Yes, Magic Guard! And you have... Oh, Modest Nature, that is so good, so good! Hello? Okay, okay, you are usable. Yo. From a Pokemon I didn't want to catch, the Pokemon I love. Oh, wait, shit, I need to... Haha, <laughs> you're just a kid. Where's me to beat a big man like me? I, I don't understand what being sizable has to do with catching and break Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. The fact that there are pro Pokemon players who are uh, under the age of 13 kind of showcases that size has nothing to do with Pokemon. Still got served by some little kid. Again, what this size to do with catching Pokemon, friend? Oh, you're sure impressive. It makes no difference if you're young or old. Yeah, but we're not fighting the Pokemon, are I should probably wake you up. Uh, let's see. Which berry was it? Uh, paralysis. Ah, here we go. Chesto berry. I got little buddy. Karate Man will pulverize you. I don't believe that. I doubt your Pokemon has poison or skill attacks. I actually really like the poses you did there. I'm not gonna lie. You know, if you weren't five levels higher, I would honestly keep you in to fight. But yeah, you might have mean looks. So actually, let's go with Shelly here. Or actually, no, squ fuck it. We'll square off with our own mock shop. Go, Sagata. Sagata, shoot! He does a kick in. I think people are faster than you. Let's not take that risk. If that lowers my speed. I'm definitely going to be even yeah, slower than you. So now it'd be good to use your range. Yeah, fuck it, I'll just take another battle for it. Fight of the Ages. Literally only one because I have more level. But again, I did switch it over here. Several of your attacks, so. Yeah, you would have not done well in there. You are you had no attacks to do super effective damage, but still still lack power. You are really Ryu like. Then again, Ryu is like stereotypical control of Karate Man. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being basic like that. Or any heal. Let's use a super potion here. Oh, they heal 60 HP. I wonder if they done that. I don't want to use the fight, it's just so hard to control, so I don't know if you can just running. What's up? If, you beat, if I beat you, will you share some food with me? Sh sure? You just want a berry man? I can just hand you a berry. You're not gonna win. Tiger Jonathan. Onyx. What level's the end? I might keep the story here. Never mind. Out of your own. I'm 
like 99% sure that you are faster than that, so. But. Like, I'm fairly certain you are faster than me. So it is okay to use a revenge hit here. Called it. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I was impressed that you were still alive. And it doesn't matter, I'll use knockoff just to say some baby. It, it's too late for that to save you. Goodbye. Be able to do a fight on your own soon, sorry. Not anytime soon, but soon. We were starved for food, and now we're starved for a win. You didn't have to fight me. I didn't force you to. Uh, I feel even hungry. Maybe I'll chat on some berries. But should I really eat berries? What am I, Pokemon? What's wrong with eating berries? Yo, that's species. Don't be like that. I think I need to use you over uh, Shelly, but well, you know, you'll be nice to have. Cloud9, good ability. Cloud9, you're a female side up. Cloud9 says that you, uh, all weather effects are negated while the Pokemon battle is. Of course. Of course. Actually, a time where Golduck was actually using competitive play just to work that green, just to stop all the nonsense that was going nuts in the competitive with all the weather teams. Isn't that such a weird thought? It's not a good Pokemon, but you know, every once in a while it just has. Sometimes your Pokemon will just have that right little bit of niche to be useful. Seems like too easy. Its usual headache worsens. It starts exhibiting odd powers. I can't remember doing so, however. Why are you not a subwater psychic type? I don't understand. Uh... Let's go with April. Your name will be April. Yeah. Because why not? Oh, no, no, no. Not sending you to the party. I already have a water type, man. Sorry. I don't think I'm going to be dealing with enough weather for you to be worth it for Cloud9 either. Okay. Let us use a potion so that we can keep Starry in. Oh, my team has, my team has a fair, a literal even split of male and female Pokemon. Oh, you want to have a battle? I was meaning to enter a super contest show, but beating you won't take long. Okay. Bit disrespectful. Is it a male or female combo? It's male, of course it is. I think this is the one of the few times where you uh, a female trainer will have a male Pokemon. Or is that just... I think that's just mimicking the fact that uh, female combi are just so fucking rare. Because only female combi can evolve into best of You think 
And the thing is, the only way to get Vesper Queen is that you could have to slather a hunting on honey trees. The amount of work it takes to get a Vesper Queen is not worth it for the Pokemon you get either. Because Vesper Queen's not a good Pokemon. It has, I think it's the only Pokemon to have not one, not two, but three unique moves all of itself. And even with all that, it's just bad. It has attack order, defend order, and heal order. And they do exactly what you think they do. Heal order heals your intent. Defense order raises your... Uh... Actually, let me check that. I'm not sure the exact mechanics of defense. Order is a physical um, bug attack that has a base power of 90, and it's I think it's like the only base power of 90 attack where crits are easier to land. So it's a high crit rate move with base power of 90. Too bad it's on a Pokemon whose base attack is only 80. You have Defend Order, which raises both special defense and defense, so it's copy power. And then you have don't you have Heal Order? I could have swore there was a move called Heal Order. Yeah, there was a move called Heal Order. It got removed, though. Huh. Why did... Why did it get removed? things to remove why that it's not like Vespa Queen's a good Pokemon why would you take away the one thing it had I'm utterly baffled okay I why look oh, Pokemon that my uh some Wukong can actually fight guys I'm I actually I... But, but why? Like... If... If... If Vespa Queen was like a top tier Pokemon, I get it. But for the amount of work it takes to get a Vespa Queen, you're left with a bug... A flying bug type with 120, uh, 102 defense and special defense as its best stats. That's not a Pokemon that needs a nerf of any kind of doing its one unique one of its unique moves? Like, everyone and their mother can learn, um... Yeah, like, everyone and their mother can learn Recovery. Some Pokemon can learn Slack Off. Some Pokemon can learn Moonlight, Wish, Heal Wish, and so many other moves. And you take away Heal Order? Why? Someone explain out there, explain that to me. Your Pokemon have so much energy. I think you should do well in the Super Contest, too. Nah, I'm good. I don't need Thanks for the offer, though. That's gonna... That's gonna drive me nuts. Because I cannot, for even a single reason, fathom why they'd remove that move. It wasn't good. Or it was... It's it's a good move, but it wasn't on a Pokemon that didn't need any nerfs. Like, no one was out here crying for Vespa Queen to be made worse. People are crying for making Vespa Queen easier to catch, but not worse. That's gonna, that's gonna haunt my dreams. I just cannot, for a simple reason, fathom why. I would love for anyone who knows like Pokemon, like internally, to answer that question for me. Just anyone at all. You and I. Let us create a scene of fat, uh, fantastic, Telebuty or Tabu. Tabuel of battle? Tabula? Tabula? You're gonna have to like two smurf, right? 
Oh, no, Mr. Mime. Eh, that kind of makes sense. It's an artistic Pokemon. You can also Psychic Fairy in this generation. strong Pokemon eventually. It's gonna take a while, but we'll get there. Do all things go Do all things go well and I can get Clef all the way to end game. She or not Clef, yeah, if I get Starry all the way to end game, she'll be my best bet against her. It's both the Spirit Tomb and the Marchum of the champion. Probably one of the most iconic champions of the game right up there next to Red. Or, yeah, I, I think it's safe to say that the champion of the generation is probably the most popular in the world. Oh, Fox Slide. I'm coming along my pulse switch here. Let's go to. Sagata. Yeah, I think I can very safely say that the Gen 4 champion. The Gen 1, 2, and 4 champion are the most popular. Not the worst special attack. Special effects. Oh man, I feel I'm lowering my guard. Too bad I don't feel Fuck! My guard's been lowered, but I'm still gonna punch the shit out of you. Bop. Magnificent. I'm a glow with inspiration. Your Pokemon are dead on the ground. I'm a glow with inspiration. The battle will surely become a stupendous masterpiece painting. Title it Pokemon Ken. I I mean clearly. Are you, your Pokemon are dead though. You gonna talk about it? Pokemon Ken. Okay, buddy. Oh, I forgot to check. Did you happen to have an item on you? You did not. There was a five percent chance that I caught a uh, Starry that she would have a normal stone on her. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people. Derby. Thank you. Are you the forgetful type who loses track of where berries are planted? Yes. Yes, yes, I thought so. I'm the same way. The time map shows you where the right berries are ready to be picked. Nice. Would you like some berries? They're all plump and ripe. Uh, I don't know. Try to buy an berry. An aspirin berry. I made my basic high grade to a Pokemon. Oh, you know. It's very rich in nutrients. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Anyway. If you say Heart Hope City, I only say this. Super Contest Show? I'm gonna name my darling Pokemon. Heart Hope City is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Santa. Okay. We have another episode. I'm in a new area. That is a Pokemon I can get. Okay. Have you 
you've seen the globe at the GAWS in Google Life City, it's aw so awesome, awesome. I can re really explain it all, but it's downright wicked. Hey, do you have a pocket case? If you haven't got one, you find you must visit the Pokemon Fan Club. You're saying that Jim Rizzi and Tina is not around. She must have heard her I'm around and check it out. Oh, right, she's the ghost chick, right? Uh, let's put away Shelly for a little bit and get that egg. Well, you guys, you know what we're gonna do here. I guess I'll only hit my Pokemon one here. And I guess uh, this also, after I get that egg, it'd be a good time to just walk around the city and talk to everybody. Thank you. Take that egg though. Doo, 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 doo. I'll take it. Thank you. I don't know where you hatch into. This is what I heard about eggs. If you take the egg and travel with it, it generates Pokemon and will hatch. I remember someone announced that there was an elf and maybe? That was the generation that had eggs. You're kidding. They found an egg at, at uh, Pokemon Nursery in Solisi on top? I heard that you found eggs in the Johto region too. Does, does no one watch Pokemon Buck, apparently? Okay. I was in here all the way from the whole region. I've been hoping to find the contest hall, but I'm new and I've lost my way. Fortunately, the local people were really kindly into my destination. I was impressed by their kindness and generosity as a complete stranger. Now, may I offer you the courtesy of showing you the not I do apologize. Share my own business. No, no, you ask the question. It's fine now. Ah, ha, poo poo. When I would take my baby out in the stroller, I see the town in a different way. I notice things like stairs and bumps on the sidewalk. Got to. People all over the world follow super contest shows. What should I do? I would captivate the whole world. You do that. There are super contest shows. Then we have the Amity Square. We, can, we have visitors from all over, so we need to keep the city looking nice. Tell that to New York. Shots! I love New York. I'm kidding. Mostly. something for your Pokemon to hold. Take this shell belt. What does that do again? Does that raise happiness or HP or something? Pokemon the phone is shell belt. Yeah, we'll restore a little HP by clicking damage. It was given to me when I was on vacation, but I already have one. So it's a tiny bit of a self-heal. How much of a heal is it though? Let's check. Shell belt. It is a heal of... pretty good. Like, if you get a Pokemon that's just, like, sweeping, the fact that it can full heal from this each time it hits is kind of scary. Not bad. So I could legitimately use the Strato, buffing up my Pokemon with Curse or something, and then I could put the Shell Bell on and just start sweeping. Pokemon Fan Club. All trainers love them. Oh, you're starry. It's quite friendly to you. I must be happy being with you. Already? Hello, hello. How do I say... Uh, do you do? I'm the Pokemon Fan Club chairman. Indeed, yes I am. But you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat. What did I say, do you do? If I must say so, I will feed Poppins to my Pokemon. That's why I say, would I do that? Because the giving of Poppins is the way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poppin, the Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poppin will add cool to the Pokemon. In such ways, I say that Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. Thank you. I urge you to fill with Poffins and be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Oh, well, I mean, I'm, I guess one in Rome. Hey, uh, Starry, what kind of moves do you tend to have? You have... Do 
the moves that have how do contests work? Remember these should be based on the move that it'd be better for the contest. I can feel the baby stroller getting heavier each and every day. What well, I'm kind of Pokemon watch how I'll become friends with first. Poppin' house. Let's just pop in and smile as well. I need some dry poppin, please. Hello. Here you can cook berries and turn them into poppins. I'd like to cook, please. Uh, let's use a raspberry. Yes. when you have an urge to cook. Bag. Reverse seeker. Ah, pop in case. Open. Give to... Here you go, Starry. Just know you like dry food. Happily ate the puffin. Oh, it raises your beauty. I guess I can put you in a beauty contest. Hi, let's get cooking. Here's my advice on cooking taste pop for your crew. In the beginning, while it's still a batter, swirl it gently and avoid spillage. When it starts to harden, turn it fast into big circles. At the end, make a wish for it to turn uh, scrumptiously and warm it. Okay. Eating good food makes people and Pokemon more energetic and happy. And that sentence we're exactly alike. I can't argue. But we got some berries. To make delicious poppins, the key ingredient is a rare berry. Also, poppins will come out yummy if you cook berries as quickly as possible, but still enough slowly enough for you don't spill a batter. Okay. I use the water stone with Pokemon and it evolves. Do you have like a Poliwhirl or Eevee or... God, poor Eevee. Poor Vaporeon. When people and Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. It makes everyone come together. It can make the world one. I can't argue. Ooh, you have a very strange face and hair. People are lonely and old. Uh, the... That people are lonely is only natural. It gives me compassion for others. That's what makes me look forward to a brighter tomorrow. But there's still moments of fondness for the past. Time can heal some sadnesses, though. Is this a Pokemon graveyard? There's still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. This place is... I like this place. It's calming. Pokemon people, it's only natural that we are all so very different. Make sure that you never judge a Pokemon based on whether it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good inside them. That's what counts. And I agree with that in most statements, except for Chingling. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It's such a wondrous cycle. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. There do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Did they just add this place just to throw some like, philosophy shit at me? I ain't, I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Lining up for my favorite statue in my underground base is what I live for. Or lining up my favorite statues. I like to live in Harkham City when I get married, but my boyfriend wants to live in Veilstone because of the department stores. There's just so many stickers to place on Ball Castle. I can't decide what I should use. Oh yeah. I see you're somewhere poor. Where was it? Hold on, it'll come to me. Oh yeah, you're the one who was battling those scary looking guys in Jubilee City. I was really curious about you after that, so I went ahead and did a little research. And then, surprise, surprise, turns out you're connected to the famous Professor Rowan? He 
have been going around defeating gym leaders too? I just thought my eyes were gonna pop out of my head. Sorry, there I go running off my mouth again. It's me, Phoebe. Remember me, don't you? I'm the one who gave you those ball caps. Hey, you know those poke boxes you've been using? I'm the system administrator of them. Oh, nice. My buddy Bill developed the basic storage system. I just tinkered with it here and there and made it easier to use. Anyway, now that you're here, it's uh, Heart Home City. How about you try a Super Contest show? Just be sure you use stickers on yours. Don't forget. Yeah, Bill's initial design was basic as shit. Let's be real here. Hey, look, the gym leader. What's up? You look so strange, Chibi. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, excuse me. Why? Are you entering a super contest show? Oh, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, uh, or incidentally, Fatima, the Hong Kong gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Because, well, I am Fatima. You may challenge me, but not yet, so you must become much stronger. Then you may challenge me. Bye. Contest hall, calling all. I was going to TM for strength of the Lost Tower. The Lost Tower is on Route 209 on the way to Cilion City. I get to see Pokemon all day, but there sure are many kinds. How many are there now? Like 850 or something? I lived in total seclusion of the mountains for 30 years. I'm going to clean up <laughs> some and super conscious shows with the dance move I came up with. <laughs> you think you'd be going to the gym? Nah, fam. I'm going to fucking pop off at the contest. I grew up, I want to be a Pokemon coordinator. But, who? Babies and Pokemon get along perfectly together. When babies take naps, the Pokemon go to sleep right next to them. Same thing with animals, man. But now you're a trainer, that makes you both Papa and Mama to your Pokemon. You know how having Pokemon around leads to new discoveries? It's the same for parents and kids. I've always learned from my kids. Why do you have so many? When I get bigger, I'm going to be a trainer too. Wow, you're a Pokemon trainer. Having lots of people around is a lot of responsibility. That also comes with a lot of fun. My sisters get all the attention. No one even notices me. Oh, that's depressing. I'm sorry, fam. Yo. I'm so sorry. I was the baby of my brothers, so I got all the attention. Rip. Do you own this entire fucking building just for you and your kids? Oh no, there are no stairs in this house. It's easier that way. Lack of stairs makes it easy for little Pokemon to get me about. The world of people are compassionate to each other. That's all that matters to me. All my grandchildren are clever and Pokemon though. Maybe tricky to manage, but I'll brighten up the move more. Hard Home is a kid-friendly city, they say, but I disagree. Hard Home is friendly to kids, grown-ups, and Pokemon, too. It's Logan. How's the egg going, by the way? Doesn't seem close to hatching. Okay. I cannot remember what's in this, uh, this egg. I know it's not... I know you do get a Ragu egg, but I know who you get that from, and I know it's not here. By the way, I will be cheesing to get that Raulu. I will be repelling super hard. Because I want Raulu. Because Raulu is cool. Lucario is awesome. I think I've now visited everything except for the contest hall, right? No, this guy. I went for a stroll in MD Square with my Pachiru suit today. I came across a super cute sticker while we walked. Do you think placing this on my Pachiru suit ball cast will make my Pachiru suit look even cuter? Probably. Guys, I'll be right back. This is super important. Let's see if I can make it in time, though. Actually, better yet, I think it's actually a pretty good place to stop. When we return, we'll keep going through here. Actually, I'll do. I'll be right back. I gotta do one more thing. I gotta do one more thing. Darn it! Sorry, sorry. I had to do. I was trying to do something. Anyway, Nami Square, you may go on a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Uh, well, I mean, Star is pretty cute. Yeah, I'm sure we're just going to struggle with cute Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like to control with? Really? Really? Oh, you have a walk animation? So Wukong's facing this way, looking happy. Huh. Oh. Bolt Switch! Cool! I don't think I have any Pokemon that can learn it, but, you know, Bolt Switch is pretty cool. Oh, I can't open my bag here. Oh, I just can't believe I'm overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. Ah, oh, it's just the two of us. Woohoo! I'm really surprised they gave, uh... Wait, you can take a Clefairy in here, but you can't take a Clefa? That's dumb. You can take a Peony? I'm here with my Peony every single day. I let it run free without worries at all. 
What the hell are those up there? Mana tracks. Makes sense. Hello, you make comparisons to turn them into poppin. Why would you have this out in the middle of nowhere, friend? You should talk to your Pokemon and occasionally finds things. Find anything, buddy? Around the square. I don't see Drifloon and think cute, personally. There were the rumors a long time ago. If these don't appear in the uh, Legend of Arceus, I'm rioting. Amulet coin, thank you. That doubles your money if the Pokemon that uh, is the Pokemon that's out defeats a Pokemon. Hey! So that is the power of defeated giants and use this plate. So remember, the plate systems are for Arceus, the legendary god Pokemon of this game. And if your if it's holding that plate, it becomes a ghost type. Oh, well, that was a nice little excursion. Oh, looks like your Pokemon that was taking a stroll with you wants to go out. Only special foreigners can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure that your Pokemon would be delighted if you let them out of your Pokemon outside the square too. Oh! How do I do that? How do I let them outside of the square? You can take a few people on a first roll and you park. I'm gonna call. They refuse to the entry of my poor Gyarados and steal this. I'm saying fucking Pokemon hatred. Fucking Pokemon racism. I'm saying my goddamn uh, Pokemon isn't cute. Oh, there we go. How's the gate? You'll find a paradise where lots of Pokemon play, or so I've heard. Does that work with any of my Pokemon? Oh, no, just certain ones. That's dumb. That's so dumb. And let's go, Pokemon. You can have all your Pokemon out. Alright, well, let us get to the grinding. I can have my bike out. Don't follow me on my bike. Cool. It's having trouble keeping up my mock bike, but that's cool. You know what? We'll take this. Yeah. Sorry about that little pause, by the way. I wanted to, uh, get something in, uh, Ed Walker. There's a fate I've been trying to get. It's one of those rare fates that only spawn, like, once every 48 hours. And the best time to do it, the best, both best and worst time to do it is at the start of expansions. Because there's multiple instances, and each instance can spawn the fate that I want to do. But in turn, because of that, people tend to flood the, the instance. And you gotta be able to get there quick before this uh, instance gets congested. For some reason, they killed it within three minutes of it spawning. Normally people wait around, like, at least eight to ten minutes. So enough people can get there. So I'm just, just some people are like, oh man, fuck everyone else. Got it, people like that. Third wait, it's like, come on, man. The fate's not even hard, and it would, seriously, and there's so many people pop up to it, you will easily get the goals. Just wait so that everyone else can get a chance to get to it. I cannot, I legitimately cannot remember what Pokemon is this egg. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be the best idea to have two baby Pokemon, though. If it's a Togepi, it's going in the box. I've already had Togepi in one of my Nuzlocke. It's in my Gen 2 Nuzlocke, in fact. Uh, Rift the King. I would have liked to actually get you to your Togekiss form. I don't remember how you died. I just remember that you did die, and I was really sad about that. You literally swept the Ghost Gym for me. Because I remembered, like, wait, none of you Pokemon have abilities to hit normal types in that game. <laughs> yeah. Tokiss is fairy now, right? I want to take Tokiss is now fairy line. I unironically think the best typings in the game are fairy and steel. The best typings tend to have multiple immunities and resistances, and steel resists so many things. Hell, it used to resist more until they were like, wait, maybe, maybe also resisting psychic and dark is kind of obscene, but it's still really, really good. The worst typing bar none is ice. You get one resistance against ice, and then four weaknesses. That is terrible.
Seriously, it's really odd that this Pokemon is considered a cute one, but Kleppa isn't. Nothing against monkeys, but... Like, do you see the star, the adorable little star face my Pokemon has? Like, come on now. Yep. Hey kid, what are you doing? I'm trying to hatch an egg. I don't think that's how egg, eggs hatch. Shut up! What I wouldn't do with a Pokemon with a flame body right now. Remember, flame body, uh, half the time it takes to hatch eggs. I remember I talked about this. That's why Talon Flame was such a good one. Because it could fly, and it had flame body. Alright, how's the progress? Doesn't seem close to hatching. Ugh. And before I get just get a token P2. I really cannot remember what's in this egg. And I don't like how hard it is to control the bike, man. Okay, so if I go around here... Shouts out to that one pathway in Ultra Sun and Moon, where literally it's just you hold one direction and you just go in a massive big circle. Where Pokemon go? Oh, there you are. And this guy's in the way, too. What's he doing? Like, move, asshole. Why are you staying in the middle of the road? People be trying to pedal here. Can I get my laps in? Oh, uh, the joy's about one. I just want to hatch the egg now rather than later. Again, if it's a unique Pokemon, I might actually use it on my team. But it has to be a unique Pokemon now. I really, really want that Raul Lugo. I like Lucario so much in Pokemon. It's one of my favorites. Lucario is one of those Pokemon that if Ryu was a Pokemon trainer, he'd be using Lucario. Let's be real here. Ken would have plays again, obviously. Funnily enough, what generation was that? I think it was generation 6, X and Y. I actually got a Blaziken and a Lucario on my team and then my Nuzlocke. The Blaziken died, but the Lucario stayed strong. Because again, still typing stupid. We're having fun, guys. We're having fun. And before it's Pokemon, I'm not willing to use. Watch me get a Macargo or some shit. Or, no, not even a Macargo, a Slugma. It'd <laughs> uh, be cool. Please just be cool. Sorry for checking something again. Anything? Am I getting closer, maybe? I'm not gonna put you through this. I'll be back when it's when it's actually hatching. So I will be right back, guys. There we go. I did 36 laps around this one area before this trigger, by the way. Let's hope it's actually a Pokemon that I can fully use on the team. It is a Oh a Peeny! Oh, Peeny. If I literally didn't just Playhouse Pokemon, it loves round uh, white things. It carries an egg-shaped rock in an imitation of Chansey. If I didn't just get Starry, I would put it on the team. Her name will be Nurse. Okay. Shit. Shit. What are your stats, by the way? If I literally didn't just get Starry, I would have put you on the team. But I just got Starry. I don't think I need both of them. Well... You would be good for a special defensive Pokemon. Brave nature. Oh, god damn it. Serene Grace, though. It's 
not terrible. I don't have a Pokemon for special defense attack, so... I might use you. Then again, hmm, I think I need Shelly for the water typing. But can't Starry learn some water moves? Hmm, I'll think about it. But yeah, I think for right now it's a pretty good place to stop. So, from here, we're gonna head to Lost Tower next. But for right now, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later.